Hey guys, I'm Sonia, head of Glasgow for The Gist, and I'm here today with the team to check out Creative Reactions, where science and art meet, hosted by The Pint of Science. So let's check out the event. The idea behind Creative Reactions is that artists come and they're inspired to create artwork in about a month or two. And I had no idea how, as a researcher, you could be expected to do good research in two months. And so the quality of the artworks and the incredible ideas that have gone into this event uh, have astonished me, really. So I made it in collaboration with um, meteorite geologist Luke Daly. I've made a, a print, a book, and some rocks that are covered in photographs that are from meteorites under a microscope. Luke is uh, like a really big expert and knows so much about meteor uh, meteorites and to be able to um, sort of be part of that and have that wealth of knowledge come into the work is really interesting. My name's Helen Emily Davy and uh, I graduated last year from the Glasgow School of Art. This project is a collaboration with Dr. Cri Dr. Christopher Moxon, who is a researcher in cerebral malaria, and it sort of grew out of conversations that we had had about um, how ordinary people interact with digital representations of the body. Do they see it as part of themselves, or do they see it as something outside of themselves that's being explained to them by a specialist? And especially because he works a lot with children, if you sort of say to an adult, this is an x-ray, it's they you, you have a sort of understanding that they all understand what you mean but if you say that to a five-year-old you don't have that instant understanding so we tried to sort of think of a project that would take you from the macro so a sort of relatively recognizable image of a brain through different stages of microscopy to very microscopic imagery very um almost abstract digital imagery but do it in a way that's sort of engaging and um, that people can find interesting and hopefully beautiful. I had a really specific um, idea in mind when I first got in touch with Jamie but then when I actually met Jamie it kind of turned out quite differently because he has a background in music and he you know we had like really good discussions and when I found out that he was doing um, a particular kind of research on which he'll tell you about <laughs> on um, haptic user interfaces I got really excited and that actually inspired a whole idea of sculpture that you can engage with on a tactile level and hear inverted commas um, sound through your hat through touch um, so that idea completely came out of the collaboration so that was a very exciting and surprising byproduct to what I thought I was going to get out of it so that was great. I'm currently a PhD student at the School of Computing Science in the University of Glasgow um, and I'm, the department I'm part of specifically looks at um, human computer interaction. Like Victoria said like I've always kind of been involved in music so I've I've kind of done things for myself, but I've never actually collaborated with someone else before. So this is kind of my first experience with that kind of thing. Um, and yeah, it's been really good. It's not just been a case of one meeting between an artist and scientist, and then the artist kind of goes off and does their thing, and that's it. It does seem to be there's actually quite a lot of collaboration between the two, and really good examples of using art to really um, effectively pr portray what this kind of what the kind of scientists are doing. Usually when I go to art exhibitions it's just artists, it's never ever like scientists or anybody else that's from the public. So I thought it was a really good mixture of bringing in people that would, might not necessarily go to art exhibitions. And just hearing about the scientific aspect of things, they're so creative. It was really good everybody explaining their work and you could actually understand it more as well where they're coming yeah, from. Yeah, no it was, it actually was like really good having like an actually we like sort of like group chat with everyone I guess. We still go to like art and science events like separately but like this was like nice. <laughs> we still got to do it together. 